I need all of these things. <laughs> I'm Francesca Fiorentini and this is the news. Wait, no it's not. Ah, home, where I am right now. The great indoors, full of majestic creatures like the dust bunny, the screaming child, the 14 day leftovers growing a tentacle in the back of the fridge. And recently we've gotten to know our homes in ways we never wanted to. Isn't that right, Winston, the Confederate ghost? He doesn't quit. Can't stop, won't stop. There's a lot of news on the home front, like homesteading. There's been a surge in home gardening, chick raising, beekeeping, sewing, and generally turning your life into Little House on the Prairie, until one day you're wearing a bonnet and your family's too scared to say anything about it. Big trends include bread making and preserving, which is apparently leading to a shortage of mason jars. Common items to preserve include carrots, tomatoes, and my eggs. All of my eggs. You. Sit and chat and drink coffee, then maybe we could see All of my eggs are in the jar. Another new trend, repetitive stress disorder. This hot new ailment of the arms has come alongside working from home, something our boss reminds us to be grateful for in a Slack message outside of work hours. Because of the pandemic, 42% of the American workforce has been working from home, and of that number, 32% say they don't like it, and 75% say they've led a Zoom meeting without a bra on. Deal with it. Home improvement isn't just for washed up comedians turned drug dealers turned narcs. Yes, I'm talking about Tim Allen. You know what you did. Everyday Americans are finding the time to crush existential dread by getting their house in order. Fixing the floorboards, adding a second bathroom, creating a soundproof scream closet. I redecorated my bedroom using all the wrappers from the fast food I've eaten and used tears as glue. <laughs> American craftsmanship at its finest. Here's a list of some things you can do to improve your space. Very nice. Awesome. Cool. While being stuck at home has given us all some peace and quiet, not everyone has had the same experience. Let's check in on Banana Bread to see how she's handling her rapid rise to stardom. Banana Bread, how has the pandemic forever changed your life? I'm honestly slammed. The second a banana gets a brown spot, I'm booked. I barely have time for myself anymore. You know, I always feel like there's maybe a misconception about you. Have we misjudged banana bread? Everyone thinks I'm a stay-at-home type of bread, but in actuality, I'm a party girl. I love going out, doing K on the weekends with some down-ass walnuts. I'm a total Aquarius. Mm. And I have to say that has led you into some trouble with the law. Tell us what happened. I was briefly detained, yes. Zucchini bread was talking shit. Fuck around and find out. Now, everyone's talking about it, and I, I would, I don't know how to say this, but there, there is a sex tape. Can we roll it? Any comment? No. As I suspected, banana bread, everybody. If there's one group of people that have been living rent-free in all our minds, it's landlords. These guys have caught our attention and we can't stop talking about them. And that means it's time to play So That Happens Dreamiest Landlord Contest. I love you, Francesca. First up is Chase Perkins. Chase owns five multi-story buildings in Tampa Bay and has managed to evict 25 families during the global pandemic. When he's not displacing communities, he enjoys chatting with his friends in the landlord forums on biggerpockets.com. Very dreamy. 
Next, there's Ken Bowser, who owns an apartment complex in Houston, but lives full-time in Aspen. Don't be fooled by his vanity license plate. Ken is no bum at all. Just this year, he raised the rent by 25% and installed ring cameras in the hall so he can question tenants about their guests. <gasps> what a cutie! And finally, there's Mark O'Connor. And according to Mark, there's nothing wrong with your heater. Or at least that's what he would be saying if he ever answered your emails about your broken heater in the dead of winter. Oh, Mark. Hard to hold on to. Impossible to forget. Quickly, text your vote to 5555. And the votes are tallying. Mmm, it's a close one. Mark is jumping out ahead. Ooh, but Ken is gaining and Chase is up there too. And the winner is... Mitch McConnell? How did he get there? But also, it makes sense. And finally, if there is a silver lining to being housebound, it's that it's made us unflinchingly live in the present moment, followed by the next moment. And then this one now. And then this one. And now this one. And now this one. Three days later. This one. This one. Oh.